All right, all right, all right, guys, I'm bringing back overpriced tech, so you better smack the crap out of that like button because episode four might be in 2019 if you don't. I'm just kidding, guys. What's up? It's Ed from TechSource, and welcome to Overpriced Tech episode three. If you guys come across any overpriced tech while shopping or looking at an article, please feel free to tweet at me or post the link to the comment section down below, and you might see it in the next episode. All right, so the first piece of tech I came across while shopping on Amazon was this beautiful CAD workstation PC. It's got the 12 core 7920X, 128 gigabytes of RAM, a 12 terabyte hard drive, and the PNY Quadro P6000, which costs almost $5,000 by itself. So naturally, I put together the exact same parts list and it came out to a little under $8,300. This guy is charging an extra $3,600 for this overpriced piece of scrap metal and you know what infuriates me the most? It's not even about how overpriced this is. This guy put in the slowest RAM possible in the CAD workstation. In what world would you think that 2400 MHz is enough for a CAD workstation desktop? Why couldn't you go with at least 3200 MHz? I mean, it wouldn't have cost that much more. You're not even using ECC memory for the love of God. And to top it all off guys, get this. This PC has a 120 millimeter radiator that's cooling the unlocked X processor. Oh my god. CPU fan Corsair water cooler. Damn, that sounds so good. I mean, your CPU will be fried after a week of editing. Why would you go with an X processor with a 120 millimeter fan? Adamant Computers, if you're watching this video, please, please just subscribe to my channel and watch a few of my videos. I think it will help you out a ton. I sold my balls to buy this, totally worth it. Okay, first of all, who would spend over 10 grand buying a pair of balls? That alone is overpriced. <sighs> Guys, please just promise me you'll never buy a pre-built PC off of Amazon unless it's a reputable company like NZXT, iBuyPower, or Corsair. There's a lot of people who buy the parts and build their own PCs, overprice it, and then they sell it to you. But you guys have no support whatsoever once it gets to you. No warranty issues, so if it breaks down, you're pretty much screwed. So stay away from pre-built PCs on Amazon. Next up is the Sobro, a coffee table with a built-in refrigerator, Bluetooth speakers, LED lights and charging ports. It's going for $1,500, but is it actually worth it? I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, it actually looks like a pretty cool concept having a coffee table that can charge your phones and keep things cool, but $1,500? This is such a good example of how lazy people have gone. I mean, why can't you just walk 20 feet into the kitchen and grab your own damn drinks? Also, if I'm gonna be spending $1,500, why not have wireless charging built in or at least give us the option to upgrade? I mean, if you can add touchscreen controls to the damn surface, I'm sure wireless charging would have been an easy add. Even this guy in the comment section agrees. By the way, have you guys noticed that the actual cable is missing from the table? You have to keep in mind that you're gonna have this giant black cable running across your living room and into a power outlet. Assuming you're not gonna drill a hole in your rug and run it underneath. I mean, who the hell wants to do that? Here's an alternative for you guys. How about you buy a good looking piece of furniture, which is gonna cost you around one third of the actual price and add in a Bluetooth speaker, some LED lights and a power bank. Not only will you have a giant cable running across your floor, but you will also save a crap ton of money. Well, it may be expensive, but at least it's hideous. Why? What a joke. Yeah, but does it play Pong? What? Why would you want Pong on a coffee table anyways? If you're still watching this video and your eyeballs haven't left your skull, then check this one out, guys. Introducing the Aero Dream 1 speaker dock from Jar Technologies. It's made for the iPod, iPhone, and iPad, and it's only gonna cost you a measly $560,000. It's 11 foot tall and it's covered in chrome, but don't worry guys, if chrome does not match the decor in your mansion, you can get it in white or black. I mean, that's awesome that they give you options to choose from. Apparently, it weighs more than 870 pounds and each one is custom made, which takes up to six months for delivery. And get this guys, it even comes with its matching colored ladder. <laughs> So this is supposed to fill your entire home with sound, and honestly, with that price, it better give me a bomb ass massage and an orgasm at the same time. You can buy two Huracans or two Roadsters. Hell, you can even buy a nice home in LA with that price. Can we please just stop and take a second to realize that this is a dock created only for iPod, iPhone, and iPad. Every other tablet and phone is pretty much left out. I mean, Jesus Christ, if it's gonna cost more than half a million, why not just build a badass speaker system instead? 
Why on earth would you need to walk towards the dock, climb the ladder, put your smartphone on there, which you can't even access once you climb back down, just to play music? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. That's why it's so expensive. How can I be so stupid? You get two free Gene Mitchell Jer concert tickets. Oh my god. Now it makes sense. Three meters of shit. That's probably the most accurate description I've seen. And finally, the most overpriced tech on this list has to be razors. And I'm not talking about this razor. That will be in a different episode. I'm talking about these things. You have to pay upwards of $20 to $30 on a pack, plus the price of the handle. I don't know why people pay so much for these. It just makes no sense. I mean, at this point, I'm sure people have heard of Dollar Shave Club. I've been using these guys the past three years now, way before they even reached out to sponsor this video. I get a perfect shave every single time, and I'm just a huge fan of the quality of their products. Thankfully though, I've been avoiding headaches while saving money at the same time the past three years. I would always drive to the store, hustling, trying to find someone to unlock that damn section for the razors, and then I would pay ridiculous prices just for like three or four of them. I am so over that. Luckily, Dollar Shave Club is now offering starter kits, and they sent over their sh shave and shower kit, which includes an executive razor with four cartridges and some extras like shave butter, body cleanser, and a few one-wipe Charlies. You get all of these on the first month for only $5 and free shipping. I don't know what they put in their butt wipes, but these things smell so good, guys. Like, I want to go use the toilet right now just so I can use these. Oh my god. Anyways, just stop overpaying for razors, guys, and sign up with the Dollar Shave Club. You won't regret it. Their sh shave and shower kit is an awesome deal, and you can get the first month for only $5 with free shipping. So make sure to visit dollarshaveclub.com slash techsource or click on the link below. All right, I think that's enough overpriced junk for one episode. If you guys enjoyed the series and want me to continue and you're excited about episode four, let me know by dropping a like. And if you didn't like the series, please leave a dislike with your criticism down below. As always, if you guys come across any overpriced tech, whether you're, on sh you're shopping on Amazon or you're reading some articles, make sure to drop a link to that in the comment section below so I can check it out and maybe feature it in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces and I will see you in the next video.